Very good morning. Goeiemorgen, Suid-Afrika, Malwenia, Mzanzi. I'm just giving some time for the people to say good morning to me. It's uh, Wednesday. It's nine o'clock. And as promised, and you always keep your promises, beloftes, Mark Skilt, we are here. Uh, I just want to say to everybody on Facebook that's watching me and afterwards everybody, hopefully, that will share um, that this week for me, is a hell of a week. And I want to just quickly open up by saying to everybody, thank you very much. Uh, Andre, Hannes, uh, Stephen, my great friend Louis, Carmelita, uh, Marius, as you go in and come in, I will greet you, Sally, and great to see you all. Giving me a little bit of time, Bradley, uh, Helena, uh, just to welcome me in your homes. Ek wil net vir baie dankie, Henriette, um, Thijs, uh, die Heere sê in jou, uh, Sydney, my great, great uh, rots, en amal wat nou by mekaar kom, uh, wil ek net baie dankie sê. Molweni Matlabane, Molweni Omzanzi, Molweni Apa I, ja, ja, beautiful day in Omslaanje, ne? Is a mooie dag. Dames en heren, um, Frederik, ek is, ek is meer opgewonde as enige iets en ek wil net gauw oopmaak met een met announcement. I would like to make an announcement. Um, tomorrow at 10 o'clock I will be addressing a multitude of media being uh, television media, your ETV, hopefully SABC, and other media of all written media and newspapers tomorrow at 10 o'clock in Cape Town. Morgen om 10 uur in Kaapstad is TV, radio en geskrewe media uitgenooi na persverklaring vergadering morgen en ek kan vir u sê daar is massa groeperings van media wat gaan kom. Hopefully by tomorrow afternoon and Friday and the weekend my message to this nation will be clear. My boodskap aan hierdie land sal duidelik wees en sal strek van die strande van Gordons Bay tot die leeflaktes van mooi gras wat beweeg en mili stronke in Lumpopo en Mapumalanga. Hierdie boodskap wat morgen in die wereldpers en in die wereld gaan uitkom is een nieuwe ding, een nieuwe begin, een nieuwe volk, een nieuwe nasi, een nieuwe land. And we will be uh, joined by a very, very special guest, a person you know, a person, yes, from politics, a leader, who will be joining me in our efforts to change this country. Om hierdie land te verander. Jam nom slaanse matlabaita api komrits, apa i funa e change, apa i mzanzi nom slaanse. Not gomso. Vandag, nie morgen. En ek sal die vraag om vir my ons te bid. I will ask you to pray. I will ask you to keep us in your thoughts until this comes out and then for the next nine years go on a journey. Die tijd is nou. Die tijd is nou. En ons gaan morgen oor die hele wereld dit verkondig. Want net in die Heere en in die Heerese licht en geloof kan ons land wees wat dit moet wees. Only through God's light can we now steer our country in the right direction. I wanted to today very briefly, on request of so many of our stunning women, address for a couple of minutes the empowerment of women. I wanted to address that although we are a society where it seems that for so many years, decades, centuries, it was announced that the place of a woman should be in the kitchen should be in that methodology of subservient of a man. And in teendeel, ons gebruik baie kere die Bible, dames en heren, 
om dit te verduidelik, dat de vrouwse plek is in die kom buis. Dat het een vrouwse plek is om naar die kinders te kyk. And that a modern society is screaming for the emancipation, the liberty of women rights. Dat die vrouwen skree vir moderne ideologie. En dat in teendeel ons vrouwe mag verdruk was vir dekades. It is time that we recognize that the old saying that says behind every great man is fundamentally an even greater woman. And I concede that is a fact. That if you strike a woman, you strike a rock. As jy a vrou slaan, slaan jy in teendeel een eister. And I wanted to quickly take three or four minutes to speak about the following Without women in our society, without women in leadership, and without women being the cornerstone of your home, your village, and your society, my word, you men must listen. We are nothing. We are actually nothing. You see, a woman is not a tool. A woman is not something to be used as a matter of a suggestion. Woman abuse formulates the principle of child abuse. And any nation, no matter its attitude of modernization and civility, any nation that treats and abuses its women and children cannot claim to be a nation that has ethics. Enige nasi wat a vrou en a kind Laat sterf, laat moer, en waar een nasie, vrouwens en kinders verwerp, kan in my naam nie een nasie verklaar word nie. In teendeel, a petition should go to the United Nations to remove a country's status, if it has no respect for its women and children. Because our women is the solid rock, the foundation of the future generation of kids. Namens die ons het een ander leven. Een vrou het denke. Een vrou het weisheid. Een vrou moet altyd terug gaan na die kinders toe. Maak nie saak wat pa doen nie. Ja, pa bring orde. Pa bring discipline. Pa bring leiding. Maar pa Beklui buiten en ma staan langsom. Nie meer achterom of voorom nie, ma staan langsom. It's a partnership. So therefore, practically, we have to look after the empowerment of women. And not the empowerment of women. I wish we come to that day where we don't talk about black economic empowerment. Where we can talk about economic empowerment. I wish for that day. Ek wens vir die dag waar BEE die B verweider moet word. Waar dit nie BEE is nie, maar EE. Economic Empowerment. Ek bid vir die dag dat die Heere het tyd sal bring waar ons nie net moet worry oor swart nie, maar oor amal. You see, I understand Black Lives Matter, but I don't agree that all lives does not matter. All lives matter. Elke lewe is vir my belangrik. I wish for a society where women don't have to continually fight about women empowerment. That day will come and it will only come if we unite as men. So job creation is critical for women. The textile industry, the agri industry, the leadership industry because we kind of put women aside. We ignore the capacity and the wisdom that women bring and I vehemently object. Helen Suzman, Helen Zilla, Golda Meir. These are just women that pop up and I think of them. They were great, great people in their own right. Don't get me wrong now and politicize this. An icon is an icon and you cannot judge an icon 
by five years of life. You've got to take an icon all their life. So I'm saying we need to empower our women in industry. We need to empower them in textile, agri, leadership. We need to educate our women. No, not make our women clever, but empower women. Ons moet as vrou ons druk en ons moet vir hulle energie gee. Ons moet vir hulle, kom ons sê gau gau, die tools gee, ne? Ons moet dit vir hulle gee. We need to teach them how to be able to be confident when they are young. Give them speech, give them power, give them marketing and innovation because our women deserve it. Finally, when a woman gets abused, where does she go? As a vrou verneder word, Waan toe gaan sy. Because women abuse and men abuse is the same, it could be. But we need to focus on our women. Rehabs. Because some people get born with alcohol, fetus syndrome. Where do we take the children to become okay to go back to their moms? I'm not saying take the kids away from mom. I'm saying help her. Help her. And finally, this is a message to the former or current state president of this country, Cyril Ramaphosa. Here is a boodskap direct aan jou, as jy my kan verstaan. Cyril, my president, jy moet nou hoor, jy moet nie net luister nie. You must listen to me, Cyril. My president, you made a declaration in public standing in front of parliament's gates to more than 3,000 women and you said that you will come down on women abuse like never before. That you will stop women abuse and child abuse in this country. Jy het gesê, jy gaan wette bring wat het gaan stop, wat het gaan totaal afskaf. Jy het dit nie gedoen nie. Luister vir my, you failed. Because yesterday we found another dead child stabbed in KwaZulu-Natal. This stops now. Send this message, my Facebook. Forward this message to thousands and tell them, Neil De Beer, Albertus Cornelius De Beer said to the president directly, you better and must rise for the rights of our women and children in this nation of ons gaan na ons eie vrouwens en kinders begin kyk want die Heere het a blessing gestuur op ons vrouwens en kinders en levens I want to thank you for joining me I want you to thank you for believing in me and I want you to thank yourself for believing in our country in Kosi Sikelele is South Africa the Heere Seen South Africa God bless South Africa and watch the press tomorrow and Friday for a new beginning. God bless you. Dear Asienio. In course.